Western Sydney is home to a variety of unique native plants, animals and habitats, including koalas, the Cumberland Plain land snail and the green and golden bell frog. It's also home to almost a million people and the population is growing. By 2056, 1.5 million people are expected to call Western Sydney home. The New South Wales Government has worked closely with the community to develop the Cumberland Plain Conservation Plan, a plan for making sure the Western Parkland City remains a great place to live and work while protecting the area's native plants and animals. The plan describes how Western Sydney's native plants and animals will be protected while we plan for new infrastructure, housing and jobs for the growing population. It outlines commitments that will avoid, minimise and address potential impacts to biodiversity, protect flora, fauna and habitats and build on knowledge. These commitments include the creation and protection of connected conservation lands for native plants and animals in Western Sydney. This includes the creation of new public reserves such as national parks and supporting landholders to manage biodiversity on private land. It also includes a dedicated koala reserve in southwest Sydney. The plan commits to the restoration of important native vegetation such as Cumberland Plain woodland in new conservation lands. Reducing key threats to biodiversity in the area will also be supported as part of the plan through research, community education and engagement activities. We'll be partnering with Western Sydney's Aboriginal community, who will play an important role in delivering the plan and caring for country. The plan allows new housing and important infrastructure to be built in Western Sydney, while making sure biodiversity is protected, to provide better access to green and public places. This means more shade, cooler suburbs, cleaner air, and a healthier urban environment for everyone to enjoy. To find out more about the Cumberland Plain Conservation Plan, visit our website.